My name is Michael Elliott Wordswamp and I'm testifying on the behalf of Jesus Christ. I have to do this whole video again, but God revealed to me that there was a reason for it. I, I was turning the my camera around to show you guys something before and I deleted the video after like two and a half minutes, but there's a reason for that. So, um, I am going to spit out this testimony because it is actually really, really powerful. My birthday is December 15th. It's December 16th, 2019. I turned 30 yesterday and I've been going through this education with God, him educating me as a prophet. A prophet is a person who God handpicks to educate in who he, who he talks to directly, to educate in the meaning of life, the reality of existence. Shut up, demon, in Jesus' name. The meaning of life, the reality of existence, what lies there in existence in the afterlife, what happens when you die, how to bless your life, how to curse your life. Um, and he usually gives, gives us gifts. We'll get visions of them. We'll have prophetic dreams. Um, I mean, he'll give us gifts like a discernment of spirits and stuff, which is absolutely my strongest gift, which actually kind of sucks. If you want to know every single solitary secret of a stranger within 60 seconds of knowing them, you're probably not going to be blessed with these gifts if you want to, if you would want that. But if you don't want that, it's hard to have relationships because anybody I meet, I'll know everything about them within 60 seconds. And most people are hiding dark things and I can't help but see them because God has trusted me to see all these things in these people. And any person, my discernment of spirits is so sensitive that my relationship with my cats gets so awkward sometimes because I know exactly what they're thinking, exactly what they're going to do before they do it. And they know it and it makes them super uncomfortable, which makes me, oh my God, they know I know that they're going to do that. Anyway, um, yesterday for my birthday, I've been just straight laughing. Satan visits Satan is right next to me or right now. Bam. I wish you could see. What is that right there? You see that little shadow right there? Shut up, Satan in Jesus name. Um, uh, jeez. Oh, one, yes. one second. I'm gonna get this. Sometimes you can catch, oh, catch supernatural things in this room. I saw a shadow on the wall for just a second. Jesus Christ. Anyway. Oh, yeah. I'm really sorry, you guys. I'm rambling. So, well, uh, I turned 30 yesterday. And I said, and Satan's been visiting me. I laugh in his face. He doesn't even, yeah. I, he doesn't even say anything to me anymore for the past, like, month. He's been visiting me daily for the past two months. Three months ago, he was... Maybe it's been about three months. But four months ago, he was visiting me, like, twice a week. Um, And then, boom, I don't know what I did for God. But I had to have done something great because he, it's messing with me so much. And I think it's... I know it's because I'm making these testimonies. And I said, and I'm just laughing at them now. Satan doesn't even talk to me anymore. The devil cannot take scorn. It can't be, sto he hates scorn. Um, it hates scorn. So anyway, I, uh, I said yesterday on my 30th birthday, I said, ah, oh, but this is ridiculous. I don't know how I'm supposed to learn any more about demons when all they do is say, Michael, Mike, Mike, to try to creep me out of my face all day. And then I just end up talking crap to them for like an hour. Uh, which you really shouldn't do because it still is dangerous. Um, and the devil doesn't even talk to me anymore because there's no point. All they say is, no, no. When I'm praying or asking God things, when I, I can hear them arguing with the angels. All this, I can't hear the angels, but I can hear the demons arguing with the angels. And I know it's always because the demon wants to do something to me that, the, that God won't allow it. And the angel tells the demon, you're not allowed to do that. And demons are obnoxious and just evil. So they'll go, no, no. And I'll hear like just mumble jumble demonic, uh, uh, temper, temper tantrum, really, and, um, so, I said yesterday on my 30th birthday, I said, Abba, this is ridiculous, I need more, I need to, you're not supposed to ask for visions and stuff like this, but God did use me as a prophet to educate me, this is what I am, a person that God trusts to convey the truth of the things that lie in existence, so I said, I, if I'm gonna learn more about, demon spirits i mean you anointed me with the greatest discernment of spirits i i understand and um i if i were to just hear a conversation if i was able to if i was able to hear the demon word for word in english say something to the angel like while it's arguing even hearing the angel's voice i would learn more but i can't learn any more than just hearing no michael michael it's just ridiculous like i need to hear more i want to see demons more and i want to hear them more so i could testify about them and tell people the reality of what they're like. Even Santorians don't even know what demons look like. Ooh. And uh, 
I said when I like, like I got a vision of the devil that looked like an evil Gonzo. Like okay, if the Muppet Gonzo, if Gonzo was like, shut up, de shut, shut up, get away from me, Satan in Jesus' name. If there was like an evil Gonzo, an adult Gonzo, the fur was a black, its nose was longer, and he was real, and he had like fox ears, and he's like smiling and skinny, and he looks like he's like seven billion years old, perfectly evil demon that's what satan really looks like i know the devil people don't see uh sandrines don't see the devil look like that probably wills into reality is this like beautiful evil strong masculine looking demon that is not what the devil really looks like and they don't know that until they get to hell looks like something that you, your eyes cannot bear to take um shut up satan in jesus name so uh uh um, 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 um I, I said i just want to hear and see them more this i i was starting now i know you're gonna have to push me in the deep end but my fear tolerance is ridiculously through the roof. I'm laughing at demons when they go, Michael, first thing when I wake up in the morning, I'm up for a second, shut up, you demon in Jesus' name, and I roll over. It's ridiculous. I need more. I need my fear tolerance to go up. And this is what he's doing. He's making my fear tolerance higher. It took him 10 years to make me as mentally strong daily, seeing and hearing these things. And I, all I'm still hearing is no and Michael. So, um... The more my fear tolerance is up, that's why he has to be so gentle with us. That's why God has to be right next to us, educating us, watching the devil the entire time that he's educating us in this. Because if we see the wrong thing, all of his work will go down the drain just because we'll be traumatized, like sitting in a corner for the rest of our lives. So I said, I want to hear and see the more. Come on. I, 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 you gave me a discernment of spirits. I could discern so much and you could teach me so much. The wisdom will abound beyond measure if you just let me hear them more and see them more. I want to discern their spirits and I can't discern them by hearing Michael no and don't. So, um... I said that yesterday, and I'm sitting here, and I'm watching a very terrible movie. I only watched 20 minutes of it, and I shut it off because it was way too demonic. I, I was watching Hellraiser uh, Judgment on Voodoo, and so I was, and um, there was a part of the movie I'm watching legit, I went the five minutes of it, and then there's a part where the guy with cuts all over his face is like sitting, typing on the typewriter, and I heard... Who are you? And I knew it was a demon. I've been hearing them for years. I knew it was a demon. I it was allowed to. He said, who are you? And it was anxious and it was serious and it was a real question. And I'm sitting there thinking, um, what would the demon care who a specific angel was? Uh, he knows the demon's going to know who God is, who the devil is, uh, who uh, Jesus is. He's not going to ask that question, not unless demons are such liars that they lie in a way like that. So God still hasn't told me that because this just happened. Behind this TV, um, this TV right here, I heard it right above the TV, and it was a demon, and it was saying it to an angel or somebody, else, a spirit, another spiritual being, but it set it up, so I, it was an angel, it was an angel, because it was saying it in a, the demon was probably about 6'1", but it was saying it up in a direction, this way above the TV, like it was talking to something that was like seven and a half feet tall, like an angel, so it it, was, it said, I don't, it, no, it said, who are you? And it was anxious, and it screamed it in an angry way. Uh, the tone of voice, uh, you know, the types of race, uh, like, uh, accents that I give demons, like, the ones that sound like they've been sucking on the back of school bus exhaust, the vermin imps, the airy imps, the Greek god sounding ones that speak super, super articulately. And then this one sounded like one of the ones that were sucking on the back of a school bus exhaust for a billion years, but its rasp was a lot less than the average one. And I think God did that because he's stretching my fear tolerance and he has to be careful with the things that he allows me to witness and, and hear because it could traumatize me and throw all of this hard work down the drain, um, which he would never do. It's so cool how I know that now, but I did not know that before. Like I, I was in fear every single day for like the first six years, believing that it's possible. Today could be the day that I see something I can't take. Today can be the day I'll hear something that will send me to the hospital for the rest of my life. But now I know that'll never happen. But so it said, who are you? It's a specific part of the movie, five minutes into it. I really want to pay attention to the movie. So I am talking to God, talking to God. Uh, I can't believe I just heard that, blah, blah, blah. That's when I made the testimony, messed it all up. Uh, so I rewind the movie. And right around the same part, I heard it again. But this time I heard him say it right at me in front of the TV on the left side. Like, so it was in two totally different areas that I heard, who are you? And the demon, demons are such liars that wanted me to believe that it really, I, I was really hearing it from the movie. So it did it around the same time, but it did it in a totally different area. It did it closer to me, like it was trying to scare me. And, uh, it did. It, it, it may, it, I, it, it's not going to traumatize me anymore. My fear tolerance is way too high, but 
it totally gave me a kind of a chill and I'm so grateful for that because I have not had one of those in like 14 months. So I'm just so grateful for that. And it's God proving that he's answering the prayer. He's going to let me hear them more so that I can discern their spirits more. So I'm automatically I'm like, what would it matter who the angel was? Why would the demon care? Was it a demon? Uh, was it an angel that it said that to? Why would it say that? Um, uh, how wouldn't it know who the angel was? All these questions are instantly in my head. After I'm like, because it was very loud, very loud. And then did it again, even louder because it was closer to me because it was lying. After I talked to God about it, tried to make a testimony, messed it up, reminded the movie, did it at the exact same part on this side. And um, so this goes on even better. So I, I said, so I'm talking to God about it and I'm like, Demons are such liars. It just tried to make me believe that I really did hear it from the TV, but it said it in a totally different place. So I rewind the movie again to like really test it because I'm like, nine, I, I know that it's a demon. I know that it just did it again. I rewind the movie and I play it again and I'm like, I wonder when it's going to say, who are you? And I'm watching the movie. It's within a period of 15 to 20 seconds of this movie that this demon keeps saying this to make me believe that it's really coming from the movie. I play it again, and then all of a sudden, around the part where I'm expecting the demon to say it, I hear the demon start arguing with an angel. It was all gibberish. I'm not allowed. God obviously knows, which I believe I can. I believe that I could sit there and hear a demon speak. I do. But if I could, God would let me. I obviously can't. I obviously don't know as much as I think I do yet. Um, Because if I could take it without being traumatized, God would absolutely let me. So it's a it's such arguing with this angel, but it's in demonic tongues. It's gibberish. It's... Uh, all mixed up, uh, but the demon is angry, and God instantly revealed to me, the demon wanted to lie to you again, the demon wanted to say, who are you, again at that part, but God wouldn't let me, in it. so God wouldn't let it, so an angel had to rebuke it and not let it, and so that's why the demon was arguing with this angel right around that part again, um, so it's just super powerful, God's told, God anointed my life for dreams, visions, and revelations, and he told me, if you don't have a dream, a vision, or a revelation to talk about, I don't even know if this is a revelation, but he said, if at the very least, talk to the computer, talk to the people about the things that you witness every day, the things that you go through, the things that you see. So, because it'll, it'll at least grant people faith that it's not like you're sleeping when you die. When you die, it is not like you're sleeping. There is a meaning to life. You do have purpose. Uh, every single decision that you make is a vital to your eternity. Um, 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 um. Jesus loves you perfectly. The devil hates you perfectly. Um, no one's blessed in hell. The devil can't even do it. It's not even possible in the name of Jesus Christ. You just won't stop. You know how like when a TV's on, that the volume's all the way down? Like say you fall asleep with the TV on. Especially like one of those old school box TVs. And the volume is all the way down. Or you play a movie on a DVD player in the middle of the night. And uh, the main menu doesn't have any sound or anything. But the TV's on and it's completely silent. Um, but you can sense, like with that sixth sense, that the volume, that the, that the TV is on still. Even if you're not even facing it. Or and your eyes are shut, you can sense it with your ears like hear that kind of ringing that's what demon spirits sound like and they move around my head and they try to like intimidate me and that's what satan's doing right now um he's trying to like mike you better not do this you better not make that testimony this is exactly what the devil's thinking right now he hates it um and that's the way he does it but he knows that now now that i laugh at him and i like talk crap to him he's afraid to speak no you satan in jesus name um He's afraid to speak because he knows I'm just going to laugh at him. The devil cannot stand being laughed at. Like, if if the devil is the devil, and he wants to scare you, and you know the truth of what the devil really is, and the devil knows you know the truth of what it is, and, like, it's this perfectly evil being, and but I know the power I have with God in, in that uh, faith is infinitely more powerful than anything Satan can bring to the table, and Satan knows I know all this. He cannot stand it. It's like, it's ridiculous how, because the devil understands that. I understand that the devil has absolutely no power over me. The only people the devil has power over are people that are, are unsaved or, um, uh, unsaved, really. That's really what it is. Um, but anyway, repent. It's vital to being a Christian. Jesus loves you perfectly. The devil hates you perfectly. You're not going to be blessed if you're a Santorian in hell. You're not going to be blessed if you're a Santorian in hell. Anybody that practices real, real witchcraft for Satan, they think, the devil will roll into their living room and say, oh, I'll bless you with this power. Just ask to project and speak wickedness into this neighborhood and I'll give you power. Oh, and by the way, when you die, I won't torture you in hell. That, that doesn't count. That, that doesn't happen. That, that's the part the devil's lying about. 
The devil wants to hurt God as much as possible, and the only way to do it is to torture every single solitary human on this planet as much as possible in hell. Um, because the, the God still know they all, we all look like children of God. When the devil looks at any single human being, all he sees is another carbon copy of God. So, and he hates God, God perfectly. The only way to hurt God as much as possible is to hurt as many people in hell as badly as possible, as long as possible. Um, God bless. Repent. The end is near. It's not like you're sleeping when your heart stops beating. God bless.